Hey everyone, what's happening? My name is Michael Barata. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to spend a couple minutes with you today. I know it is absolutely gorgeous down there in Florida, whereas up here in northeastern Pennsylvania, we are getting ready for yet another snowstorm. But that's cool. I love the winter. Winter is awesome. I'm down with it. And I know come May or June, the sunshine will be out. Um, I have to thank Jim Harity for giving me this opportunity to be put in front of you. Thank you so much, Jim. I don't know where he's standing, somewhere over there. So thank you so much. Um, I've had the awesome opportunity of working with Jim and Residex in New Jersey. They'd asked me to come out to their clam bake to speak about workplace culture. And I've also worked with Jim in the state of Pennsylvania with regard to social media. So these are opportunities that I had that I'm so grateful for, but they're also big, big, giant passions of mine. So I just wanted to kind of speak to you about both of them and why I think both of them are becoming more and more aligned in this ever-changing world of work. First of all, workplace culture, I believe that's where it starts and stops with regard to the success of your business. And it doesn't matter what your role is, culture will affect you, no doubt. The reason why it's so important is because how people feel that's right, how they feel about where they work and the, what they're doing for a career is so important and so very influential with regard to the type of work that they do and the type of employee that they are and the type of leader that they are. So workplace culture speaks to basically the dynamic of human relationships, how well people can work together to achieve a shared goal. And that's essentially what an organization is. It is a group of people coming together to achieve the same thing. Um, and this is something that I've had a tremendous amount of experience in that I'm still continuing to learn because it is changing all the time. I was part of a two-year federal study that actually really focused in on how people feel about where they work. So what they need to be successful, but then also how it affected their, their life outside of work. And this is something that we're starting to see blurred a lot, but this is something that we're also understanding that we don't really do very well in terms of understanding what the individual needs to be successful. So this is something that I love creating learning opportunities around, and this is something that I feel is extremely important and never a waste waste of time. The other flip side to that is social media. Uh, to me, social media is starting to become more and more related to workplace culture because at the end of the day, you would want an employee or you would want a customer to use social media, the powerful mag magnifying voice that it is, to share something good about their experience with that organization. Again, whether they're an employee or a customer, whether they have 12 followers or 12,000 followers, it doesn't matter. They are able now to reach more and more people and to talk about their experience. So at the end of the day, if we can all figure out how to create successful experiences, right? Rewarding experiences, favorable experiences for everybody involved, it's better for everybody then, all right? So if it's better for some, it's better for all is essentially the approach that I'm taking. And this is where social media, again, aligns with workplace culture. It's all about feel, and then it's all about how you want to share that feeling. So these are two areas that I feel are so very important to business, so very, very important, and they shouldn't be mechanized. Essentially what I'm saying is we shouldn't look at processing in terms of workplace culture and social media. We should look at humanizing, more important, individualizing. Hopefully, if you'd like, I'm always open to share more opinions and try to create more and more learning opportunities for you. Feel free to check out more about me at michaelbarata.com. Again, thank you, Jim. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity, and I hope you all have an absolutely awesome time.